Welcome back. Wagertalk.com Sunday NFL action. I'm your host Marco D'Angelo joined by Brian Leonard. Brian Green Bay the pack is back or are they two game two games they played two teams that they beat Chicago up you know those two teams were going up and down the field but as we're seeing Chicago's got some problems and then last week Thursday night game short week play a Minnesota team that was coming off a big upset of Atlanta and really made Atlanta look bad the way they went up and down the field on Atlanta. Teddy Bridgewater makes his first NFL start. Big day passes for over 300 yards, gets injured, and then we got to go with Christian Ponder as quarterback for the Minnesota Vikings. And the only thing good that I can say about Christian Ponder, he's got one hell of a hot wife. That, that's as far as it goes with Ponder. He's got a great life. He doesn't have to play football. He gets paid and he's got a hot wife. Uh, yeah, Sign soon, me up. As soon, as soon as the Ponder news came out, that was the time for me to buy on, on the Packers in that game. Uh, the Thursday road team is a tough situation anyway. Uh, I hope the Pack is back because I bet them season wins over and it really didn't look very good after the first couple of weeks. <laughs> I, in fact, uh, one of our colleagues, I told him, I go, nice pick on the Packers over. He goes, yeah, I'm going to lose that one. Yeah. So, but maybe not. Um, this is a situation they've got the extra days rest obviously going from Thursday to Sunday this week um, but traditionally we talk about games of importance scheduling wise this would be the least important on their type of schedule because it's a road game non-conference but given their record because you know they started the season in the hole um, they really can't take games for granted so that kind of negates that scenario but I look at this Miami team and here's a team that had two weeks to prepare and normally I would say a team coming off a big win going into the bye I like to go against them you know kind of last week the Cincinnati you know scenario but it's not like Miami was 3-0 and coming out of the bye they beat Oakland after two bad games before that so beating Oakland doesn't mean anything you're not going to feel fat and sassy that's going to be my catchphrase for this week's videos we've got a couple more of them coming up but uh, I don't see them having the letdown and I look at this one I think Miami's a live dog here if you're looking to play Miami play it now it's a three and a half in some places I don't think it'll stay that way very long uh, my only concern here with Miami is and you mentioned it the Oakland Raiders the worst or do you think Oakland's the worst team in the NFL right now they're close yeah, they're, they're, Jack Jacksonville or Oakland are fighting it out but usually when you find a team that just played one of the worst teams it's going to make them look better than they, what they really are so I'm not sure you're getting the true value on Miami here as you normally would if you can catch three and a half believe me I think the Miami's the right side here but if you can only catch three it basically is coming down to who is going to win the game and if I can catch Green Bay in a situation where I can get the better quarterback in a game that and, and, you, and you talked about it the, the importance of this game Miami's in a situation where they have a chance to win this division. That division right now is up for grabs. Right. Green Bay is starting behind, so they need to win this game. So I think they're going to get full focus on both these teams. Well, the one thing I'm going to say, and we're taping on Wednesday, and the line is there's still three and a half out there, but as Brian say, says, it's heading to three because there are some threes minus 125 popping up on the boards, which is obviously the indicator that this will probably close at three. My concern and why I like Miami here, the Green Bay defense, and they've been in shootouts, so a lot of teams are not, you know, running against them when they're in the shootout. They sometimes are coming from behind and you're abandoning the run. Green Bay can't stop the run. Every team has rushed for over 100 yards against them this year in two teams, and now they're better teams, but Seattle rushed for 207 yards against them, and uh, in that Chicago game, Chicago had 235 yards on the ground. Miami can run the football. And I think they can control the game and keep Aaron Rodgers off the field, frustrate that Green Bay offense. That the best defense against a good offense is keep them off the field. And I think Miami can do that. I'm going to go ahead and make Miami um, my free play here. Take Miami uh, plus the points on Sunday. I got them winning the game actually outright 27-24. I do think it'll be a tight game. And guys, we've got a special offer this week at wagertalk.com. If you check it out, any of our cappers this week, find your favorite capper, 
if that's me, if that's Brian or any of our other campers, you can get Thursday through Monday all access for just $69. All plays. That includes Brian's Game of the Month. If you choose him, great way to go. Uh, check it out, wagertalk.com. We're going to be back one more NFL play for Sunday, and that will be coming from Brian with a free pick up next.